Hello, Mayday family. How are you guys doing today? So, I missed you guys so much. Today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about how to get over a breakup. Like, the bulletproof way. The number one bulletproof way, and I say this, guys, from the bottom of my heart. I don't know how else to express it, but I'm so serious as far as uh, what I'm gonna share with you today because what I'm gonna share with you today is the is literally the only way that I know works for a fact like every time a hundred percent you know how people say there's nothing that works a hundred percent of the time it's a fucking lie this works pretty much a hundred percent of the time if you're dealing with a broken heart right now you're not alone that's the number one thing that you need to understand is that you're not alone it happens and people are dealing with that I've dealt with it on several numerous occasions and it's so hard you know it's like you literally almost feel like you have no energy to do anything else you know it, it's so hard to pick yourself up and um, you know do the things that you usually do and feel like you're 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 you you're the normal you so the number one bulletproof way completely eradicate that person from your life I know that sounds so funny like it's like where did that come from right but <laughs> <laughs> like I'm so I'm so not kidding you guys you have to block this person from everything and anything like everything and here's the thing I don't care if it was a good breakup Do, don't say don't even if you said to him or her let's stay friends forget about that fuck that you don't need you don't need to do that if you're trying to get over someone emotionally what you're really going to need to do is block that person uh, if there's no room for you guys being together you know if you guys have had that conversation and maybe she's told you directly I do not ever want to be with you or I don't want to be with you or she's in a relationship already or he's in a relationship already then yeah you need to block this individual period from everything so don't not block him from your social media because you want him to watch your stories or who gives a fuck block him because if he reaches back out to you it's gonna like fuck up the whole process it's gonna mess up the whole process for you it really really is it's gonna make it harder than it needs to be here's the trick you guys it's hard at first but what I'm gonna ask you guys to do it's it's so interesting and a little bit counter um, intuitive or counter what you would think of typically doing but what you really really need to do is is really sit and soak in everything that you're feeling and really allow yourself to be deep 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 in it so if you're feeling sad you really need to allow yourself to feel those emotions and what does that mean that means blocking him from your phone blocking him from your social media him or her from your social media accounts he doesn't they they like he or she does not need to see what you're doing uh, or how you're doing none of that you you gotta really block this person from everything in order to commence the healing process that's really what needs to happen so uh, once you do that what you it's gonna be hard right because especially if you are hoping for like a miracle or something that's hard but if you're serious about getting over this person and it's something that you want to do then that's what you're gonna need to do and once you do that uh, then the true healing can really start because you'll feel worse than you did before and I could promise you that but another thing that I can promise you that it, it, another thing I can promise you in regards to that is that that's temporary 
I promise you that it is way better to fill all those things now and then start to heal afterwards than to drag this along, you know, and just drag it along and drag it along. And I know from experience I've had to do it a numerous of times and it is hard, very hard. But uh, if you do it, it, you do it for yourself and you do it because you love yourself more. So uh, once you block that person from everything, some people think it's childish. Oh, why do I need to blo block them? <laughs> it's not childish. It's what you do. It's the way you do it. Block this individual from everything. No hard feelings, but it has to happen. Uh, and you could tell them, you know, if they reach out to you like, hey, listen, I'm going to have to block you because this is, I would tell them because I would want someone to tell me like if that's going to happen, you know, so I can like, so if he's for real or if she's for real about something, then plead your case because otherwise you're getting blocked, you know, so I would tell them and then block them, you know, but uh, that's only if, you know, they reach out or something or it's a situation where they reach out every now and then, then I would just be like, look, I need to end the cycle. I need to do what's best for me. So you're getting blocked. Uh, and then, you know, if they're, if they're really about that life, then they need to plead their case. If not, then they won't plead their case. But uh, either way, uh, that's what you need to do. And you need to really allow yourself to be sad. You really, really do. Uh, don't try to jump onto someone else or something or, or something serious right off the bat from that in, in the attempt to, um, you know, just kind of like salvage your own feelings and not feel the hurt and the pain. You do need to feel the hurt and the pain. You need to cry your ass out. Cry your ass out. Sit there and cry, girl or boy. Cry, cry, and cry. And keep crying. Because every day what you'll notice, after like the first, I want to say, three to four days at most, you'll notice that you're starting to feel better, right? But you also need to push yourself to do things like go work out, learn how to play the piano. I'm playing the piano right now, just but that's because I've always wanted to learn how to play the piano. So that, but learn how to do something new. Um, you know, focus on work, but don't focus on work too much. You don't want to like replace one unhealthy thing with another unhealthy thing. But what you're trying to do is just kind of do things that you enjoy and learn about yourself. Uh, and give yourself the time and the opportunity to truly heal uh, and and that's the that's what I would say you guys that really is what I would say I mean I feel like it's it's so hard nowadays you know with these Millennials I will not tell you what I am because I I technically am one of those but I mean the lack of communication I can't even express to you it, it's one of my biggest issues with society today is just the uh, their shared inability to communicate um, or even talk you know because commu communication can mean a lot of things but just to have a, com a conversation like people can't do that they they find it so hard to do that but anyways that's the one suggestion that I would give especially if it was a bad breakup if it wasn't if nothing has happened and you want a relationship with someone and you just haven't told them then my suggestion would be to go ahead and tell them because no one's a mind reader you need to let people know what you're thinking and see what they say even if they said something different and you want something different you need to make that very 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 clear don't be scared of making that clear and you know um, making decisions from there on on what needs to happen you know but that's the best advice that i have and that's what i can give i totally completely disagree with people that say that it's childish it's not childish it's the fucking only way you know now i don't always have to do this a lot of times i do have to do the whole like i have to block that individual completely but not always if it's someone that i feel like there's potential with but we're just not there yet then I won't block them and I don't mind having them as a friend actually to be honest um, you know if it's not emotionally draining or anything like that or if it's someone that I, I actually like but we're j I just feel like we're not there yet you know it's like maybe some things are missing or maybe I feel like we need more time to learn about each other or maybe I feel like 
I just want us to be friends right now because I have a lot going on like I I keep those people around and I still talk to them and I'm friends with them because I like their company and I'm fine with it it doesn't really um, it's not emotionally draining for me it doesn't really affect me or you know I'm not like distraught about it emotionally and stuff and uh, at the same time I enjoy having them in my life so those people like I might not talk to them you know every day or even every week but I'll reach out and still talk to them every now and then and text them and things like that so it's all good it's all good but for people that you know I, I guess have a little bit more of your emotions um, then you might want to consider blocking that individual if if it's pretty clear and it's been made pretty clear that uh, it's not gonna really turn into anything so you don't want to be stuck on that you really don't and after like the first two weeks or so you start you you start noticing how much better you feel and and all that and after a while it just doesn't even matter block or no block it's like you're over it so anyways you guys thanks so much for joining me tonight well it's night over here I don't know what time it is over there <laughs> but <laughs> I so appreciate it I love you guys so very much I will be trying my best to do a lot more on my channel uh, because I I just have all these ideas you know all these things that I want to do with you guys and um, I it just I wouldn't be able to do it all in one day so I'm really really excited uh, and thanks for joining me thanks for being a part of the May Day family uh, you guys mean so much to me and uh, that that truly is from the bottom of my heart because I started from ground zero literally zero subscribers so uh, I will talk to you guys soon if you have any ideas for any videos by the way please let me know leave a comment below uh, I would really appreciate that and um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.